We move on to the next problem. In this problem, consider the returns from a stock over a period of six years. Calculate expected returns and standard deviation. So problem I have written here period 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 6 years. So total number of years or total number of items are 6. Then in the problem it has been given as RI. RI is nothing but returns. So it is in percentage. So for 5 years plus percentage is, is profit. For the 4th year it is a loss. It is given in minus. So when we add all the plus values and minus 10, we are going to get total as 60. So if you add all the plus values, it is 70 and 1 minus value 10, if you do it, the total will be 60. So in a way, plus 70 minus 10 is there. So plus 70 minus 10 will be equal to 60. This is the first part of it. The next is we have to find the deviation from average or mean we have to find. For that, we have to go for calculation of expected returns. For expected returns, we need summation R, that is the total of returns divided by number of years or number of period. So when we substitute here, 60 is the total returns, 6 is the number of years, we get expected return as 10. So expected return, mean, R bar, all are same, different denotions, it is 10. So we go for calculating the deviation from the average. So how much variation is there in the return? Is it constant? It is not constant. We are going to find out therein. So we are finding D here. So R represents or RI represents returns 15 minus R bar. R bar is 10. So 15 minus 10 that is going to be 5. Next. 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Next, 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. Next, here we have to be very careful. We have minus value. Minus 10 is the R value. And we have to write minus R bar. R bar is 10. So, minus 10 and minus 10 will be minus 20. We have to add all the losses. It is both the losses, minus 10 and minus 10 becomes minus 20. Next, 14 minus 10 is equal to 4. 9 minus 10 is equal to minus 1. So no need of totaling the deviations, that is the D column, no need to total. We have to square the deviations. So square the deviation means D square, D is 5, 5 square. That is 25, 2 square, that is 4, 10 square, that is 100, minus 20 square, minus 20 square is minus 20 into minus 20, that becomes plus 400, 4 square, that is 8, minus 1 square, so minus 1 into minus 1 becomes plus 1. So we have to total this to go for calculation of standard deviation. So here I have given two different formulas you can observe here. One is for d square. Total of d square is summation d square. For another formula I have given r minus r bar summation r minus r bar whole square. So that is going to be the one here. So total when you do, all are in plus values itself, you are going to find 546. So here in this problem, we are calculating standard deviation without calculating variance. Straight away we are getting into calculation of SD. So in the previous problem, first we have found variable uh, variance, then we have gone for standard deviation. Here straight away we are finding standard deviation. So I can use any formula here. Square root of summation d square divided by n minus 1 or summation r minus r bar square divided by n minus 1 whole square. So I will go for this. 
both are same. I have used n minus 1. n minus 1 for samples, n for population. If you are not able to know in the exam, you can use n or n minus 1 from the problem. Any one is quite okay. So now you are going to simplify. When you simplify, you are going to get standard deviation 546 divided by 5 to the whole square. You are going to get 10.449% as standard deviation. One more thing you have to remember is here probability is not given. Probability values are not given. So then also we can find standard deviation. So how to find uh, standard deviation when probability values are not given in the problem. So this is a a good example for you. In the exam you have to be careful. Not always probability to be given to find the standard deviation. Without probability value also we can find the risk value or standard deviation.